today is the mysteries of will power so uh, we'll see like so as per the information that is shared in this book so we'll be going through a couple of points that are mentioned by the author tortem saraday and we are all aware of this so and uh, we'll be so i'll try to share my experiences with this and uh, so and our masters may be having a number of experiences with this concept so we'd like to hear uh, from each and each and every master at least once simple uh, point in their day to day life like how they use the will power or how they use the free will and how they manifested it physically okay so yes yes so before going to this topic so so as we all know about this book the mind to matter right so the first and foremost point is that like so when you wake up every morning simply align your consciousness with the highest possible frequency of which you are capable of so and we are glad so from so in this psm you get group so every day we are morning we are meeting and we are doing a group meditation and uh, so in meditation we are connecting with our pure potential the the higher mind or almighty or all that is whatever terms we may call so we are connecting with the true self and we are gaining more and more energy so that we can utilize that energy to have a better life on that day and a given day and whatever may be the present situation so we'll be accepting that moment and uh, we'll uh, enjoy that so in my life like i will i will share just one simple example so generally for example i thought of moving from hyderabad to delhi so as a part of doing meditation sharing or meditation spreading in delhi so what happens when i sit in hyderabad i think delhi is a wonderful place and i will have you know i will get wonderful people there to spread meditation easily there but what happens in practical when i go there i may get a number of challenges okay and i may so whatever expectation generally wherever we go right we'll keep some expectations if we do not meet those experiences expectations then what happens so we may be uh, not that much comfortable or we feel so oh, okay it's not it's not how i expected so the so that's why so if we go there without any expectations then whatever we get we'll be happy so this is what uh, i experienced it and uh, once i asked patricia about like you know so what is the secret of you know how you are able to travel across the world from different places so he simply said one thing like i don't keep any expectation from anybody for example i am coming to delhi to some xyz so some xyz person invited me and i am coming there so i don't keep any expectation my only intention is that to spread meditation or to teach meditation there if one person is there i will be happy if 100 people are there i will be happy so whatever may be the quantity i don't mind i need quality so that is a secret of the success that's what patrishi shared shared with me so with that example okay i i thought okay so it doesn't matter how to how many people i am teaching meditation or to how many people so whether i am doing my duty or not whether i am doing my dharma or not so in order to do that first and foremost duty or dharma is that connect with the self and i am glad that we are all meeting every morning and doing a group meditation okay so this the topic will power if you see the snail here so so it's a small one but in order to move that big object it needs lot of will power right so like that if you see ants also sometimes ants will carry the material okay though the ant is very small but it will select an object which may be very big but it tries to carry it from one place to another place so that means it puts all his heart or soul or strength okay so that it will be able to perform that activity so put all your heart soul and strength into the things you are doing speaking or thinking of beauty goodness and truth we call this a state of beingness when it is present in all your expressions and labor so this is one of the uh, point from this book okay so will power so we so we'll see so we all know this will power okay sankal shakti right so we'll see what exactly as per the information that is furnished in this book okay 
so before going to this will power so he shared about this free will so what is free will like do we have free will okay so in a simple terminology like what he told is that like free will is an urge within us to live the way we want to live to do the things we want to do to be what we want to be so generally like so so you like what happens like you know everyone wish okay i want to live the life like this okay i want to be like this i want to be like that or i have to do the things like this so everyone will have that like but in practical what happens like so we so we may get a number of challenges we may not be able to do the way we want to do we may not be able to live the way we want to live so there is something behind that okay so we often cannot do things because of others who are doing just the opposite way for example i am i am taking one simple example for example i like doing meditation so every day like when i wake up in the morning i prefer to do meditation for example i am sharing so my wife may not be interested in doing meditation or she may not she expect me to you know to go for a walk or to go for to do some other thing so like that in our life so everyone will have one way of okay this is how i want to live or this is what i have to do like but most of the time so we we may not be able to do that so what is the reason behind that okay so this is how this conflict starts that what he said okay there is also an, another conflict we want to live the way we want we want to do the things that we want we want to be what we want but our actions our karma our evolution stand in a way that we cannot exercise our free will okay so and in this modern life like you no know, so life not only so in this modern life not only do your wife your husband or children break your free will but also your traditions your church your history or your racial background refuse you your free will there are there are also other agents that do not recognize your free will like taxes laws government military so superstitions or social conditions like many rules and regulations will be there right so if you are living in forest then we will not we we may not have all these conditioning all these things right but as we are living in the society so we are so they sometimes so we we have to follow as per the rules and regulations and all those things right and uh, then there are even more powerful forces against this free will so there are sickness disease death okay so these are all the some of the obstacles or some of the challenges that we face and which may cause which may be not helpful for us to live as per our will okay so and one more thing like what he says in simple terms like you know so it seems to me that the term free will is one of the most manipulated and exploited term the real the real explanation of free will is not that you have free will but all will can eventually make you free that will can liberate you that will can release you from slavery okay so will power right so for example if you so before going to this uh, what is mentioned in this book see how much will power do patriji have or had so when he started uh, pssm in the year 1990 so his intention or was to you know to spread this meditation across the globe like dhyana jagat or pyramid jagat shakar jagat so these are the three main pillars right so how much will power he had or he has been having all these years so that will power matters a lot he is a living example or in our day to day life also like so we have many masters who are there in uk who are doing their jobs and uh, out of their personal time they are spending some time for the benefit of the society right so they are spreading meditation and they are doing the activities across uk that means how much will power they are having so like that the primed masters are utilizing it to the fullest that's what i can say and we saw like what happened in the lockdown time right so in that during the lockdown time everyone was bothering about like you know whether he or she may be able to leave 
but the pyramid masters they utilize the technology like uh, zoom and all these social medias and they effectively utilized it and uh, pyramid masters are the best examples how best we can live respect of the external conditions so it all so it all come from the will power that's what and that has come the will power is there but that has come into action when we started connecting with the self through meditation or, or the whatever that simple things okay so will power so what is will power in simple terminology as mentioned in this book so will power is the energy of our core our core receives this energy from the core of our solar system this energy used to carry the purpose behind the creation to fulfillment this is the initial key to this energy so what is will so will power is the energy of our core our core receives this energy from the core of our solar system this energy is used to carry the purpose behind creation to fulfillment okay so okay will power is there do everyone able to utilize the will power to the fullest so as per the information he says no as this energy may not be used by average people until they begin to use their mental body and think thinking is a mechanism which uses this energy according to the level of thinking for example if you see the thinking of patri ji unka so his vision is that to spread this meditation across the globe okay to spread to have pyramids pyramids across the globe to make everyone a vegetarian or vegan across the globe that means how so that is the thinking pattern he had or he is having and that's how he is able to manifest all these things and he is able to connect with the like minded people and that's how we are all connected so that is his thinking pattern so like that is the miraculous thinking right so patri ji shared about the miraculous thinking that four types disastrous thinking negative thinking positive thinking and miraculous thinking so he always lives are with the miraculous thinking and we are able to witness that right so like this everyone may not be able to use this will power so like that you, you can take any one example like for example we we all we all you know love cricket right so how much will power do ms dhoni used to had though he was a new to the team but he became a captain and uh, there were many senior players like sachin tendulkar rahul dravid saurav gambhuli vs lakshman there were many senior players are there but in spite of that so he had a confidence and uh, he led the team and we got many you know matches won like world cup t20 world cup and the main world cup so like that many things are possible manifested it right so it all because of the will power and the our pyramid masters okay okay and uh, this intention what are the three qualities do your disciple need to have okay so intention determination and persistence so we are all aware about these three points so these are the three basic qualities do everyone need to have in order to have or in order to utilize this will power to the fullest the first one is intention right intention so see and again we'll go with the example of patrishik so he he left the job and he don't so he don't he may not be having all the money that what is required for him to manifest that uh, you know spreading of meditation across the globe that is dhyana jagat pyramid jagat all these things but he had that intention so that intention help and uh, we in our day to day life also we experience this so with the intention we are able to connect with the like minded people and uh, for example you take the example of you know pmc having a satellite channel i heard about this you know being having a self satellite channel when i met patrishi or when i met ssm masters in 2001 and 2 so and we see during these recent years how that you know manifested so in the form of mahesh agarwal ji so we got the satellite channel and we are able to convert our youtube channel into a satellite channel so that intention is the first and foremost important thing right 
So intention is a state of mind which has wound itself and has a tension ready to be released to accomplish a great labor. Okay, so we have intention. Okay, for example, I came to Mumbai for my office work. So I do have intention like it. Let the weekend I utilize or spend with the meditators. So I had that intention. Today morning I kept messages to our senior masters who were there in Mumbai. So then Mahesh Agarwalji called me and uh, he told me, okay, come to my home and let's spend some time. So see how that intention, you know, helped me to manifest or to connect with the meditators. So I came to his place and I am at his place now. And next one is the determination. Okay, so everybody will have intention. Then next one is determination. How determined are we? So determination is an attitude that never give up until the plan is fulfilled. To a man of determination, all obstacles increase the inner tension. See, so I will share my experience, right? For example, I so along with the like-minded masters, I went to Delhi to spread meditation, to make Delhi as a base and to spread meditation across North India. So we all went, like 30 people went there from different parts of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. And we have that intention of, you know, spreading the meditation there. And when we went out to do that, we had many obstacles or we had many challenges. Like one is one challenge was that, you know, language problem. So like, so the people from us, like it's the Hindi is not that much great. Uh, the English is not that much great, but we have an intention like, so we have to spread this message. And uh, the food, so there will be many obstacles or many challenges when you are walking on your path as per your intention. So all these obstacles will help you to become more determined or with more intention or so that, and uh, like that we spread activities in Delhi for about two years. And by making Delhi as a base, we traveled across North Indian states along with all the senior masters. So during that process or in that process, one day, we got an opportunity or uh, we met deal and sastriji and family and that's how then we then we handed over that activities to deal and sastriji and family then for the last 10 12 years they have been spreading this meditation activities across north india and uh, even we got pmc hindi also and they are running it the magazines and all those things so so initially we haven't thought, ki, okay, we are not good at Hindi or we are not good at all these things, but the intention is there and uh, the people like Patricia are there to guide us. So with that, it helped us to go there and to spend our time there and uh, it connected them to the right people and they all, they have been doing their best for the last 12 years and, uh, and we saw like how the activities are happening in North India also. Like one of them is there. So like, just like how we are doing Dhyana Maha Chakra in uh, Hyderabad. So they have similar program, Dhyana Maha Yog Kumbh. So it is happening in, it was happening in Rishi Kates, like that, okay? The spiritual capital in India. So that is the determination, right? So the next persistence. So persistence is a continuous advancement and labor to achieve the goal and the plan. Persistence is when a labor is backed by intention and determination. So these three qualities are more most important for any disciple to get succeed in their chosen path whether it is meditation whether it is spirituality whether it is you know job or whatever it may be so these three points matters a lot intention determination persistence and the same thing for uh, willpower also as mentioned in this book And they, one more point, like whatever is absurd in this, whatever is mentioned in this book. Okay, I will share a few more points from this. So fail, failure is any one of the steps causes thousands of years of delay in, in our evolution. Shambhala energy is will energy. Certain avatars bring will energy to help the evaluation of the service of disciples. Like for example, masters like Jesus Christ, 
Gautam Buddha. Okay, so some of the examples and in the patient world, in the PSSM world, like Patriji. So, so they are the great examples of you know in spreading this are in this energy. The avatar of synthesis provided him with a tremendous amount of will energy or will power. Resistance and challenge can create willpower. Willpower is also created when <coughs> resistance and challenges can create willpower. Willpower is also created when unrighteousness is done. Whatever is against the essence of willpower, willpower awakens and smash shit. Willpower is the energy that does things. Otherwise, it is our bodies that do things, not us. Our bodies produce ugliness, darkness, slavery, sadness, pain, congestion. Okay. Spirit religious will, when these elements activate the positive nucleus of willpower and the willpower coming into being. So, and one more thing is also like when I when I asked one of the senior masters, uh, Paul Vishay Kumar master recently, so what is free will in a layman terminology? So he simply told like, you are traveling through a pipe. Let us consider you are traveling through a pipe and you are supposed to travel in the tunnel or in that pipe. If you are able to break that pipe or tunnel and if you are able to come out from that, that is free will in a simple terminology he shared. So like this, so there are many people who is having this willpower, right? So before going further from this book, I would like to hear our master's experiences uh, with this topic. So we'd like to hear from you. So Raghavendra, we'd like to hear from you. Yes, Master. Thank, thank you, Master. This is uh, so far uh, went really well. <laughs> I like the so far you covered uh, free will, uh, topics on uh, discussion on free will, willpower, and intention, and how miraculous uh, thinking can help you know manifesting uh, such examples like uh, PMC, which uh, is a wonder. No one thought you know that with a normal thinking capability, it can be manifested and said, and it is helping lots of uh, millions of people now, and it is going to be uh, further. So that's one of the wonderful, uh, no, uh, for the society's uh, perspective, how Patriji has manifested it. And also, as you mentioned, the intention, determination, persistence, Persistent intention uh, to do something and uh, to stabilize that uh, thought consistently, you know, persistence and determination to do that. Uh, to, to me, to add uh, on that, uh, we have to see what we are, so what we are liking, right? We have to understand ourselves and then that persistence will come naturally. So then that keeps us alive. So if a person is not having such passion in life, anything to do, uh, then uh, there is no life, right? So uh, you have to come up. Uh, you know, uh, earlier I, I used to be very shy. Then, uh, then after coming to PMC, there is an opportunity to speak, you know, uh, happily, you know, to speak to anyone. Earlier, there used to be a lot of fear that, oh, he's bigger than me, smaller than me, you know, so lots of thoughts, you know, how can I talk? Because there are a lot of uh, people who, who are elderly, uh, uh, even corporates, they, say, they speak, how can you talk to head of our uh, European wing? Like that. Now, yeah, things like that, so surprising. So uh, see, there, there is, unconsciously they speak like that, uh, but there is a fulfilling aspect that, yes, which, uh, we underestimate ourselves always. So with the self-image and all. So a lot of beautiful topics here. 
so where we can become a, a leaders with these small small topics right uh, which are within the being it's because it's all one seed what lingaraji master is doing now uh, it will it looks very simple but that seed like you create your reality things like that uh, we keep on discussing but uh, if if that such things actually transform our lives so i'll pass on to adarsh now thank you thank you master please continue <laughs> don't leave it here so, uh, as yeah, much yeah. as yeah. Yeah. yes 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 we would like to hear from our other masters Hi friends. So uh, as you join this today's book club, it's more of a Sajjan Sangatya. So I request everybody to uh, share your thoughts yes. around this. And uh, Vishu, madam. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello, uh, hello, uh, Rashika sir, Randinga sir. First time I joined this book club. Uh, first time I came for this meeting. But it is very interesting topic, the willpower. uh i think you know i look upon my journey back and what i have covered i never you know i always thinking i'm a very low profile this is nothing to achieve but now when i look upon my journey from where i started and now i feel proud because of will power my determination or the masters whom i met you know i acknowledge each one of them the gratitude uh that whatever i achieved in my life from where i came from a very small place in india and where i am today it's not like academic or the wealth wise the inner satisfaction means today if i leave you know at this uh, place this beautiful planet and go i have no regrets i think i have given you know justice to myself acknowledgement on as my human life uh, the best part was recently during 2 years ago when i came into meditation i with my will power i got rid of my medication i was asthmatic chronic i was on steroids so that is the one then i started looking upon my life that uh, whenever your intentions are pure and you think about you desire for something it will definitely you will get yes there are hurdles as you said you need to go you know that inner dialogue happens there are many challenges you face but once you are thrive when you are on the road when you are on the tunnel there is your free will help you to break the tunnel out and you get whatever you want in life uh, so it's a will power i think it's a very important journey which allows you to look upon yourself inside work on your house are your foundations are strong or not but again the people there are uh, around you they are help you to achieve your goal and mission yes some of them are going to pull your reins but others are if the you know the supreme is helping you there are people around you the positive and negative they all help you to move around the channel It means there is a driving force there so this is i personally i this is my journey for will power yes is wonderful reju ji so like that everyone all the pyramid masters or whoever is there in this group so everyone is having that so as he mentioned in this book will power is there but not everyone is able to utilize that will power so to whatever extent we can we can able to think or we are able to think so just like patrishi or you take you can take any one example any like for example bill gate or you take any one example in the physical world also so so that will power will be will help us you know to manifest and for that the thinking okay so like we are a combination of three things right in a simple terminology like so thoughts words and our actions right so we can check ourselves like in our day to day life you know how is my thought pattern or how, okay how is my thought pattern so how is my thought pattern today when compared with yesterday or when compared with the last week or last month whether they are progressive or they are whether they are constructive or whether they are you know destructive or whether they are in a negative way 
So like that, we can do that self-checking every day. We can maintain a journal. So like, how is my thinking pattern? Or so how my how I am I speaking? Whether my speaking is constructive for my fellow people or not, or whether it is destructive, whether my words are encouraging them or not. So then actions, whether my actions are, you know, they're helpful for myself and they're helpful for the society or not. So every day we can check and uh, the best judge is your inner conscience, right? So it will say like whether you are doing right or not. So, so we can do that self-check. And the next thing is that what I observed from Patricia or what I experienced is that deconditioning of the mind. Right from childhood, we are conditioned a lot. When we were children in the very early ages of life, there is no conditioning of the mind. There is no mind, right? As we heard, like from the age of seven, the mind starts functioning, right? So there is no conditioning. So like, for example, if I'm hungry, I will cry. My mother will be giving milk or then I will have that milk and if I want to laugh, I will laugh. If I want to sleep, I will sleep. Like there is no conditioning like yeah, I have to sleep only at night or I have to drink, I have to eat only in the morning or only in the afternoon. There was no conditioning, right? So as we grow, so we are conditioned through our parents, we are conditioned through the society, we are conditioned through friends and all those things, right? So one example I would like to share is that in that conditioning. So right from my childhood, I was told not to eat brinjal, right? So brinjal is not a good vegetable. It may, you may get rashes where if you eat brinjal, that is one thing. That's how my mind is conditioned. That's how I am conditioned. The second conditioning is that, you know, if you go into rain, you may get cold or cough. These, these are the two, condition, two conditions that I would like to share. When I came to PSSM, when I came and met Patrishi, so the first condition, he, so he, he helped me to break is that. So on the first day when I met Matriji, so you know, he cooks very well. He made brinjal curry on that day. So when I went there, he told, you know, go and take and have brinjal curry. So that is the first thing. Then I haven't thought anything, okay, if I eat brinjal, I may get, you know, skin irritation or allergy or the. So just I kept all those things, all those programming things which were there in my mind. Okay, simply, okay, Patricia told, I had that brinjal curry and he told, you know, brinjal is the king of vegetables. If you don't eat brinjal, your life is waste. This is how he, he shared that information with me. Then on that day, I changed the programming in myself. I, I deconditioned my mind key. Okay, brinjal is not a bad vegetable. It's a very good vegetable. And since then, so in most of the PSSM activities, in most of the programs, so we used to have brinjal curry. Even... Okay, and in, so then when I came back to my home, so in my home also we started, you know, cooking brinjal curries. So that is one example. So that's why whenever you meet a master's like Patrishi, if, if he looks at us, he will know what is our state of mind. And uh, the first and foremost thing what he did is that he tries to decondition your mind. So like that one of my friend came. So he don't like, you know, drinking coffee or tea, he only like to have milk if possible. That is also preferably cow milk. So what he told to him, go and have coffee. So initially he was hesitant to drink coffee, but later he had like that. So we always have to decondition our mind. That also helps us to grow further. And the second deconditioning, what I experimented after coming here is that rain, right? So whenever there used to be rain, I used to go into the rain and I used to play in the rain, just like how I used to play when I was a child. So though I spent in rain for about two to three hours, so, but nothing happened to me. There was neither the cold nor the cough. That means, so then after that, I realized key, how important it is to condition the mind, to program the mind. So in whatever way we program the mind, accordingly, the body or the mind get functioning. So these are the two simple examples I, I experimented in my life. And then another example I experimented is that are applying this free will or willpower or conditioning, deconditioning of the mind is that I did MSc in physics, okay? But so then after doing MSc in physics, I went to Pune along with our meditators. So as a part of doing meditation activities, right? So there I was the only one who is a physics lecturer and the rest of our masters were used to be software engineers. 
our goal is to spread meditation across the globe then what i thought ki okay if, so if i become a software engineer it will be easy for me to travel across the globe and it will be easy for me to spread meditation then what i thought okay instead of doing a teacher job let me switch to software industry i haven't had any fear saying ki okay so i don't know basics in computers how can i become a software engineer so the so that intention right that intention and uh, determination persistence then i moved to hyderabad and i i learned then i choose you know so at that time there were two uh, software courses which were having so much boom first one is the sap technology and the second one is a testing technology so many people they told okay as you are not from the computer background so instead of selecting sap you select testing it so that it will be easy for you to sustain then i told ki instead of going into easy one let me challenge myself so i will take i will take sap course in that also i will take a coding language not non coding language i don't know basics but i had that confidence all that confidence had come because of meditation and uh, connecting with the senior masters like uh, patrishi then i came to uh, hyderabad and i learned that course and uh, after that i went to delhi then i practiced it and i got the job first job in um, tcs and uh, for the last 12 years i have been doing jobs in various companies so that's how i transformed myself from a non software or uh, from a teaching field to a software industry like that so we'll be having this will power or we'll be applying this uh, concept of uh, will power in our day to day life we may not be using the term okay so so like that in whatever may be the situation or in whatever may be the way you would like to manifest your life or you would like to transform your life so you can apply these principles okay that is intention persistence and de- intention determination and persistence so i had the the intention is that you know to become a software engineer then determination so then i learned that course and i practiced it for about two and a half years so okay i went to hyderabad and i learned it but i haven't got the job easily so there was a lot of force from my family saying ki okay so you did msc and you are wasting your time and energy doing this and that but i had that strong intention and uh, two things i heard from patrishi and so that is that she told me two things like one is the job the other one is the marriage these two things you have to choose wisely and you you choose those two things which you like the most don't choose because your parents told or your relatives told or your relatives are there because these are the two things which will be a companions throughout your life so you have to choose it wisely so that's how i choose this job and my you know wife in this life so like that all the masters who are is there so they may be having or they may be applied all these principles just i am sharing from my example so i thought of going through this book page by page but this is not my intention my intention is that take the concept from that and apply in your day to day life or connect with the things that you applied in your life so that it will be easy for the people to get connected to the concept so this is what i would like to share for today and i request anyone or whoever wish to share this kind of things you might be doing all these things so that it will be helpful for others also to think okay will power is a very good subject it's not it's a very simple subject and uh, this is how i understood uh, this is what i am i thought of sharing with you okay can you show that book completely now please yes 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 so that uh, yes 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 stress of help by tarkam sir adarian yes 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 he is a great master uh, who speaks very naturally like uh, human speaking terminology like as if a friend talking his le- literature is like very simple uh, all his books are written uh, before he passed away in around 1997 ah yes yes Yes, yes. Before, the books are like uh, what I heard from his daughter is that uh, Geeta Saradarian. So all those were most of them are in the form of lecture lectures. So the team, that foundation is there. They are converting all those lectures in the form of literature and they are bringing into uh, in the form of books. It's a very simple English though he's from American. So it's a very simple English. So we can easily understand, we can easily relate in our day-to-day life. the what i like from tarkam is uh, tarkam master uh, he, his examples are very beautiful on any topic 
he gives uh, the essence of it so uh, ultimately one needs to understand the outcome of the topic right uh, so that is the purpose of any conversation any any dialogue uh, a master or a teacher uh, from a higher being to you no know, we always receive we need to evaluate whether the sorry whether the out, uh, outcome has been uh, achieved so masters uh, i would like uh, uh, everybody to speak before we we do a little exercise on this topic yes kulara yes yeah uh, it, it was a wonderful topic um, i mean we we need to keep us uh, reminding this um, will power otherwise you know uh, we, i mean just doing the meditation on a regular basis that is also sometimes you know we treat as a will power sometimes so many other things to do and you know just coming and sitting on the same time uh, is a wonderful thing and that's that's another thing keep us going and uh, you can actually see the will power what is going around the world with the ukraine war and etc the people are so strong and you know they are leaving their children and wives in the other side of the border and coming back and they want to you know um, uh, fight for it and the, the, these all are you can actually physically see so many things happening around the world with the people and you know as a community people and a country just um, um, uh, the combined energy just making them sort of work really hard and achieve their goals and uh, i think we need to keep us reminding all the time because Uh, even with the meditation we get lots of negative um, feedback from you know you sometimes you feel like you know you can actually help certain people but they don't actually sort of you know come and do the meditation or listen to you but uh, end of the day you are well power keep you going and teach meditation to others and spread the meditation therefore constantly we need to check on us how we are how, how we are improving on our will power how we are achieving our our goals like a patriji sir and we all our masters would like to do exactly the same as uh, our grand master and uh, our will power is only keep us going uh, that's all i would like to share thank you so much for this opportunity thank you yes thank you so much pularatnam sir so you are doing you are doing a great job like so not only you are the spreading in uk or you are connected with the sri lankan uh, people also and you have that intention of you know spreading this meditation or spreading this uh, right way of living to the other fellow human beings irrespective of the location so that's a great thing and uh, so i am so we are also glad to connect with you sir yeah thank you sir thank you so lenga sir uh, you have uh, a few more topics uh, and a few more uh, subject today or uh, that is the crux of it ah uh, yes is uh, this is for today so okay. so so i want to say you know uh, shall we do a little exercise for everybody yes. like uh, yes 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 yeah friends anybody want to add before raghavendra master or anyone Yeah, yeah, please, masters. Uh, you know, I, I, I here I see everybody as masters. So everybody add for the sake of others because a lot of people will watch this eventually. It will be published in YouTube also. So it is a great opportunity uh, for a being a great soul to speak out. Okay. so today's topic wise so what i want to ask is rather than a regular session we hear a lot right we have millions of masters now so what i want to say do is because today is a saturday and it's a morning in uk so how we apply this knowledge right so we do couple of minutes meditation uh, with our master lingerity here who is has brought this subject and uh, helping everybody so how we apply our free will today uh, for this weekend what i want to achieve uh, right 
so what is my purpose so let's align with our soul why we are here and also uh, once we with our free will you know we think you know what we want to do really right or we are already aligned it's like a wake up call uh, and uh, are we you know doing what we are doing so the, this kind of sessions you know while listening to connecting to people and uh, listening so we just realign couple of minutes meditation and uh, uh, we, we we determine our intention right uh, with a determination persistence uh, we realign uh, again so all this this attributes of the thought so which thought is having or we have many thoughts today i want to play some sport or i want to play indoor sport i want to go for running or i want to learn some new set topic or i want to make a presentation or i want to take care of family everything is a thought so how do we align how do we align so uh, so like this you come up so we do couple of minutes meditation so master you guide on this uh, and also conditionings so conditionings why master told is those are the blockers right like uh, uh, riju ji also told uh, from her experience so while going tunnel the tunnel means uh, why she meant tunnel is uh, because there are hardships there she has seen from her vast experience of life so in that tunnel the conditioning is one aspect technical term so this conditioning how he broke like higher energy like pramarshi patri ji who are very rare in our lives who will uplift people right uh, everybody work on their selfish motors how we, who will create that vision you know uh, so there are some secrets uh, by helping others we grow that is other secret uh, so it's that is the only way that universe can sustain in a healthy way so conditioning is how we break so master has broken his brinjal eating pattern and dancing in the rain uh there are even for me i have a lot of conditioning so i have broke many and while you know attaining we have to uh, release so conditioning is like we have a cup of uh, tea the uh, cup if you pour water it's like we are taking some information before taking any more information it, it will fall down so we have to empty it vessel and you know uh, take freshly so we have to decondition which is releasing so likewise today uh, uh, i think we will close session by 9:30 uh, apologies for uh, me starting late actually uh, but let's do couple of minutes meditation master you guide with some whatever way you like and uh, on this topic so we realign our conscious yes yes sure sure master so uh, so yes yes as rashikar master mentioned so masters like today or tomorrow like you today you just experiment in your life you can see one thing that you would like to change change in your mindset or one thing that you would like to decondition your in your mind that that is conditioned right from your beginning of in this life or from the right so you can make a list of the things and you can prioritize that which one you want to condition so for example one more conditioning i will share for one minute so right from my childhood i was brought up in a environment where people used to drink and they used to do lot of nonsense in and around and by looking at that incident i kept in my mind saying ki okay i should not drink if i drink i may be behaving like this which may not be health which may not be good for the society so i okay and when by see after that incident whenever i see if someone is drinking i used to think he is a bad person but when i grown up so i went to meet one of the senior master and went i met him first time what he, he offered me one one glass of beer he told me you have to drink i told i don't drink i don't like drinking but he told if you are if you like meditation drink this beer okay i told okay so just for the sake of meditation i drank beer then he told like so you drank the beer now right so do you like yourself or not i told i like myself then why you don't like the people who are drinking 
why you are treating whoever is drinking he is a bad person so if one person out of that if he is doing some you know nonsense or disturbance to others don't think that everyone will behave in that way don't think that the person whoever is drinking is a bad person it's a, it may be an habit just for enjoyment you can also experiment it so that's how that is also one of the thing that i decondition my mind and all. i changed the thinking pattern or i changed the way how i look at the other person whoever is drinking so like that in our life we can change the perception so you can do whatever you we want to do or you want to change your perception or you want to decondition your mind you can you can do in your life you can experiment and you can share your experiences in coming sessions so let's do 5 minutes meditation and we will close it sir we go yeah so so let's continue with the meditation for 5 minutes
hours 30 seconds 20 seconds 10 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 0 if you wish to continue meditation you can continue those who would like to come out from meditation kindly place your both palms on your eyes five seconds and slowly open your eyes if you wish to continue please continue the meditation thank you masters thank you for your time Thank you, Lingarad Master. So friends, uh, just one thing before completely open your eyes or coming out, just think uh, what do you want to manifest today, tomorrow, okay? Take one more moment. What do you want to manifest today and tomorrow? So what is your purpose? Do you want to waste the time or what are the aspects you want to fulfill? Don't keep 100 thoughts, 100 actions, you know, I want to go there, I want to go there, and don't complicate it. A master always keeps very clear, one thing at a time or one thing in a first three hours, second three hours. So just what is that one thing? Take a moment and do one more time. Okay, masters, now we can slowly open our eyes. Thank you for contributing. I won't take any more time. So as promised, half nine. Thank you, master. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much and everybody for being around. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you.